Do you remember me? I'm the holy pastor doing stuff. And today I'm going to teach you about how to do evangelism. I already have the first step down. I'm wearing my raggedy clothing. And I'm standing on my soapbox. Come to think of it, what is a soapbox? Nowadays they come in little soft cardboard boxes that would collapse if I stepped on one. So back in the day they must have been pretty heavy soap boxes, eh? Funny how things change. One thing that doesn't change is how to do evangelism. As was true back in the day, it's true today. The best form of evangelism is this. You are a worthless wretch! You are going to hell! The end is near! You best repent now, boys and girls, or God will strike you dead! I am the voice of righteousness, because I've been born again! And I can see that you are in sore need of God's love and grace! Accept salvation now! Well, I would bet a million dollars, or my private jet, that you are feeling the warmth of God's love right now, right? I mean, come on! It works every time! I'm even feeling a little, a little giddy. Give me, give me a second, give me a second. Whew! Maybe it was just because I was yelling so loudly for no good reason, but I think I was feeling slain in the spirit. I'm thankful I didn't faint just now because I don't like filming these things more than once. Outtakes are never funny. Aren't you going to tell them the truth? For once in your life, can you do that? No! I'm going to tell them what's going to make me famous. Being untruthful seems to have that effect. But evangelism means spreading the gospel, the good news, the good G-O-O-D news. Get it right. <sighs> All right, fine. Okay, okay. Look, let's be real together. You and I, we're messed up. And I don't know why, but we seem to only let God into our lives when it's convenient or when we can still be in control. We, we want God to, to comfort us and to open doors for us, but actually letting God be the Lord of our lives? No thanks. But here's the good news. God sent us his son, Jesus the Christ, to die for us even while we were sinners and even while we are still sinning by pushing God out of our lives. But God loves us that much. So no matter how often we push God away, he will still be right there loving us. Not only that, but God is patient enough with us to watch us continue screwing up over and over again, and God will still do his best to lead us to a better, more peaceful, more holy way of life. Score, right? And that was evangelism, what I just did. You didn't even know it, but I was, I was doing it. Boy, was I doing it. I was doing evangelism. Evangelism, it's, it's simple, really. It's just sharing with your friends, with your, with your family, with your coworkers, with strangers sometimes. Even the fact that, hey, you're messed up too. Sometimes your life stinks as much as, as much as elephants' dung. Most of the time you can't stand your kids either. You don't even know how you, how you got up and got out, out to work this morning. Until that is, you, you turn your life over to God and you let God into your heart to, to love you and transform you. And then you invite people to share their life story and how they're messed up too. And you remind them that God has bigger plans for them as well through God's grace. Maybe you then form little, little groups where you can gather and people can say, Man, life really sucks right now. And you can say, I know, I know, but God loves you. I don't know, but... But I get the feeling that evangelism could be, could be pretty cool and, and life-changing if we gave it a shot. You know, spreading the good news of Christ, that, that would be awesome. It was fun and all yelling at you, but, but I think it would be more fun getting to know you and getting to know God together. 
I certainly need love in my life. I mean, look at me. <laughs> Could you use that same love in your life too? Well, this got serious pretty quick, so let's change the subject. Next time on Holy Pastor Doing Stuff, I'll teach you how to have a fight with your significant other. All right, now Holy Pastor is off to his second job, changing ink cartridges.